The loss of mental and physical function from a stroke can devastate victims and their families. Teaching patients to live with new limitations is one way that Atlanta Shepherd Center helps them recover. But the age of stroke patients who come to the Shepherd Center is getting younger, and doctors say in some ways that may help in the recovery. I have stroke on March the 2nd, and I had to have a craniac thing, which means they cut out part of my skull, which is why I have on this helmet. They actually had to do two surgeries, because after the first one, my brain kept swelling. Amanda Parks had not been home in two months while she recovered from a stroke that came at the relatively young age of 37. She remembers exactly what that moment felt like. I was watching TV with my daughter, who's 15, and I wanted to get something to drink. I tried to lean up to the coffee table to get my cup, and I couldn't move. I couldn't move my right side, but I could not move anything on my left side. And my daughter asked me, Mama, what's wrong? You can only move half your body. Park's daughter called 911, and not a moment too soon. Doctors say that her stroke could have been fatal. She would have died, most definitely, had she not gotten to the hospital uh, when she did. Uh, it was the early treatments that, uh, that saved her life. Amanda was lucky to survive, but parts of her brain were now ravaged. When she regained consciousness, she struggled to communicate with her family and medical staff. We did it. Apparently, when I first started coming out of my sleepy sleep after my stroke, they would ask me questions. I couldn't answer them, but I could hear them. So if the answer was yes, I would give them a thumbs up. If the answer was no, I'd shake my hand like this or do like that, which meant stop whatever you're doing. And that way I could communicate with them. That's all I could do was just hand signals. Doctors say that her physical impairments were so severe, she required intensive therapy. There was absolutely no movement on the left side of her body. Uh, she was unable to control that whatsoever. Her attention of the entire left side of the world was so affected that uh, not only was she unaware if someone was standing on her left side, physically her head was actually turned all the way to the right and her eyes were deviated all the way to the right. Now, after two months of demanding physical treatments, Amanda is going home. Her entire family showed up to see her walk out of the center with help from her therapist. She says the Shepherd Center has not only helped her recover physically, but also tried to prepare her for a new life. It's been amazing. They're very patient, very kind. And they push you, but not too far, just as far as you're willing to go. They've helped me get comfortable with my new reality for now. While Amanda's rehabilitation has undoubtedly been difficult, her doctor says that her relatively young age actually gives her a better chance at recovery. Uh, one thing I will say about uh, younger stroke patients, while uh, the strokes can be as um, uh, equally as devastating as, as for older uh, patients, uh, they, we tend to have more success at, at surviving early on. The recovery uh, does have the potential to be better, definitely because the brain is, uh, is younger and more resilient. There's more chance for this, what we refer to as neuroplasticity. Uh, your brain, when it is younger, is able to form new connections better and replace those that were damaged. Amanda's husband has been by his wife's side yes. ever since the stroke. He can't believe just how far she's come. It's amazing. Uh, she has her wits about her, uh, you know, Every day, I mean, she she uh, she is walking with assistance from the therapist too. And when we when we got here, there was absolutely uh, none of that. I'm proud of myself. I really had to work hard. There's been many tears shed from the pain, but you know you just have to get through it because it's a big mountain I have to climb. But I have to do it one step at a time. And our hearts go out to Amanda and her family while she continues to recover. Amanda's doctor says no matter what your age, you can protect yourself from a stroke by maintaining healthy blood pressure and cholesterol levels.